And I mentioned the term transhumanism, and I think that in some circles, the, the idea of transhumanism goes off on, on a tangent. Uh, the idea that humans are going to become something that is not human anymore, or perhaps the, the post-human. But there's still the term humanity in there. What is that essence of the human, and what does it mean to be transhuman? I think if we were to realistically take a look at that, what we would see is that the human is, in fact, a species in transition. The transhuman is that transitive species that is indeed evolving. We, we push back from the idea of the fallacy of the ephemeral that says we're not changing. We are. And more and more, we're becoming the architects or the engineers of that directive change. It's not simply reactive to those things that are an environment that then prompts changes in us by virtue of what we can survive, what we do to flourish. We're determining what those variables and factors are. And we're engineering those changes to ourselves as well as our environment so as to be able to prompt the directionality of that transition. We are a species in transition. And I think that's something to appreciate and at the same time to apprehend and perhaps to gain some apprehension about. The idea there is will we incorporate not only a builder's bias, but the builder's responsibility, the burden of the builder's responsibility. If we are in fact the engineers of our own evolution, irrespective of what everyone may say is human nature. Human nature is one of tool use, is of creativity. And whether or not one defaults or reflects or leans upon religious traditions to say that humans may be made in some image of their creator, or that humans are independent of that, and the creator was nothing more than a retired watchmaker, or if one completely abandons any of those viewpoints, the idea is humans are evolving, and they're evolving through their own accord, their own efforts, and through their own direction, and through their own intent. And with direction and intent and with action comes responsibility. And the more we become capable with regard to these implements and changing what we are and how we are that, what we're capable of doing, breaking down the barriers and the limitations of our function, our structure, the more we become responsible for the power that yields, power over each other, power over our environment. And certainly this is what we see with neuroscience and technology.